talking about is massive single projects. We're right. saying that in the future, uh, you know, I have no criticism of the past. I'm saying in my administration, in the next four years, I will focus on neighborhoods. That is what, when I talk to thousands of people at their doors, that is what they're upset about. They want their parks, there's uh, I think 32 parks that are slated for closure, possible closure right now uh, in <coughs> Windsor. They want those small parks. When I lived in New York 20 years ago, uh, large parks were very important to the city, but all the small parks made neighborhoods. That's what made neighborhoods effective. That's what uh, grew neighborhoods. That's what, that's what brought up property value for houses in neighborhoods. And I think Windsor, the neighborhoods and the people in those neighborhoods want us to focus on the parks and the pools and the, and the sewers and the roads in those neighborhoods. They want their neighborhoods to grow and that's what we're gonna focus on. So we're gonna move away from large ticket items and we're going to focus on fixing the neighborhoods. You talk about, uh, you're talking about these massive single projects in the past, you had no criticism of them from the past, and yet you're saying you're going to find tens of millions of dollars from discretionary project. Discretionary by its definition means it was unnecessary. Can you give some examples of where that was tens of millions that are going to be freed up? I mean we're not building another aquatic center, we're not building another arena, where's that money coming from? My, my administration will look forward for the future. The future is to build neighborhoods. The future is to fix the parks, fix the playgrounds, uh, make the neighborhoods more attractive, uh, make them more uh, accessible, make them places where people want to live throughout the city. And that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on keeping the pools open, such as A.D. Knox. Uh, many people that I've spoken to want that pool open. They want all their neighborhood pools open. They want all their parks open, and they want the parks to be green and attractive. They want the uh, playgrounds to be usable. They want these things done in their neighborhoods, and that's what it's going to. Ha that's what's going to happen in the next four years. That we're going to focus on the neighborhoods. We're going to focus on the parks. We're going to focus on the pools, the facilities. Uh, we're going to focus on greening the neighborhoods. Uh, we're going to create neighborhoods that are are beautiful for a city, and and will attract. Uh, the children back to Windsor, the people that have left to Calgary and Edmonton and the East Coast, they will come back because the neighborhoods are very important uh, to the people of Windsor and that's what I'm being told at the doors. So in order to do that though, we've looked through the budget, we've looked through the five-year capital budget plan and there is money that has not been prioritized that can go towards neighborhoods, that can go towards fixing the, keeping the parks open, fixing the pools, uh, uh, fixing the sewers, fixing the roads. The money is there as long as we don't take that money and create large multi-million dollar uh, single massive projects.